God. Tell your neighbor, it's time to go deep, baby. And we got, we got to get out of the shallow water. We got to get out of the shallow water. We are entering into the deep things of God. And God is going to have to reveal and give us understanding of this mystery that we enter into. She said something about going into another level. We enter into the deep things. Now, we're not talking about over yonder after a while in the morning. We're not talking about going to heaven. But I have not seen or heard, and he, he, he brought in verse number 14 to let you know that he's dealing with the natural man. He's dealing with sin. So whatever I haven't seen, nor have ever heard, not have entered into the heart of man, those things that God has in store for us, it, it's a mystery unto them on the outside. Natural man can't understand what God is doing in your life. Natural man can't behold or can't comprehend the things that God is doing, and neither can you, except you tap into the Spirit. And when you get in the spirit, God going to show you things that's been hidden for your glory. Uh, God going to show you some deep things, amen, that only he can reveal unto you. Look at somebody and say, it's time now to go deep. It's time now to get a deeper relationship and deeper understanding with God. You got to go beyond praying God, amen, to pay a bill for you. You got to go beyond God that's putting food on your table. Look at somebody and say, we got to tap into the deep things of God. God has healed enough headaches. He's able to do a ceiling abundant above all that we can ask to think according to the power that working in us. Look at somebody so I don't even ask God for a headache. Look at somebody, we got to go into the deep thing. Now, God is the revealer of the deep. Look at somebody says some hidden mysteries in God. There's some things in God that if you try to say to a natural man, he cannot understand them, and he's going to look at you as if you're foolish. Who in the building will try to share vision with folk that not even in church dream with people that don't even have a relationship with you, and you'll walk away from them as if you would miss God yourself? Because when God spoke you to you in the midnight hour, when God got you up out of your sleep at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, you felt the presence of God, you felt the fire of the Holy Ghost, you felt like running, you felt like leaping you felt like turning flips doing somersault you had so much energy and power baby you just know I got to get up out of the bed and do something you run a laps around your house you run a laps in your house some of y'all get up and clean the whole house cook a whole meal you just know you have so much energy baby that you have to do something I feel like preaching a little bit Anybody here, he woke you up and you just know, I got to get busy. I got to get busy because this thing was on you and you, you, you get on the phone or you get on the computer, whatever, and you call somebody, amen, that's having nightmares. You call somebody that haven't been to church in six months. You call somebody, amen, that haven't trust God for anything. And they say, oh. And you talking about everything you talking about is prophetic, baby, because you uttering things that God's going to do. You uttering things that God has seen you, so they told you that has not materialized yet. And so you speaking in the unknown. Oh, you telling folks what God's going to do and what's going to come to pass. And you can't physically touch nothing, but you know that it's real. You know that God is speaking and that one day you will possess it. One day you will have it. One day you will do it. And all you talking is supernatural talk. And you talking to somebody, amen, dead as a door now, and all they're going to say is, oh. And you're sitting there, man, and, and you're digging to that church? You're sitting there, don't, don't you sit on the motherboard over yonder? Uh, 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 aren't you a Sunday school teacher? Uh-huh. Ain't you a wannabe preacher? Just do that one in there, mom. That feels feel good. I just do that one in there. <laughs> but you, what I'm saying is you think they should have a revelation of what you're talking about. And all you're talking about, man, is predestined things that God has predestined, things that God has spoken in your spirit, yet not call it, has materialized them, but they shall come. Huh? And you're so excited, man, and, and you didn't want to share your good fortune with somebody. You just want to share that God woke you up last night. You couldn't sleep. 
God came down and tabernacled with you in your bedroom with the rollers in your hair with, with oh my God and he just spoke to you about some things that you're going to move from here God has spoke to you about getting some stuff and God done spoke to you about healing your loved ones and God done spoke to you about revival in the land in the city of Humboldt we're going to see a fire by night and we're going to see a cloud by day and you just have to tell somebody you couldn't get a hold of pastor you couldn't go get a hold of first lady you just have to call somebody and you call your cousin your uncle your friend or whatever and you begin to wake them up and they gonna say now why you call me this late in the morning girl i gotta go to work at five o'clock and you begin to share god what are you gonna do and they're gonna say uh girl you gotta be crazy well not your man received not the spiritual things of god could it be, could it be, could it be, look at somebody, you keeping the wrong company. Could it be, could it be, you hanging around the wrong folks. Could it be that you revealing your heart to the wrong people while you're not seeing the result of what God is speaking to you in the midnight hour. Look at somebody and say, we got to go deep and desire the deep things of God and desire more of the mystery of God that God going to reveal to us because I haven't seen nor ear heard. So it don't make no difference how you try to paint a spiritual picture to, to somebody blind. 